If you don't find your purpose by yourself, society will assign one to you. Since you were born, everyone around you tells you who you should be, what you should think, and what to feel, despite your inner calling. And most people comply, killing their dreams and aspirations in the process, choosing to live a fake and mediocre life. And who wants to live like that? Since you're here, that's certainly not the case for you. So here's what you need to understand. The reason most people are neurotic in today's day and age is because they struggle to find the most important thing in their life, purpose. And make no mistake, the reason you can't find it is because you've not been taught how. So let's fix that, shall we? Here's how to find your purpose. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. First, you need to figure out who you are currently. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle once famously said, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. The first step to finding your purpose is to understand who you are. What are your values? What do you believe in? What are your passions? And how did you get here in the first place? Take some time to reflect on these questions and write down your answers. In the book, Mastery, Robert Greene writes, you must know your own inclinations, abilities, and limits in order to find a path in life that is fulfilling. So take a deep dive into your own thoughts, experiences, and beliefs. Pinpoint exactly what are the driving forces that motivate you to get out of bed in the morning. And once you're done with this, figure out who you don't want to be. Actually, you know what? On the Alux app, we've got a learning pack called Ikigai. And the entire thing is devoted to this very topic, finding your purpose. And the learning pack, as well as all of our learning packs, are included with your app subscription. So go to alux.com app and download it today. This is the stuff that will help you to identify what your defects and bad behaviors are so you don't carry them around all along your journey. The more you know about yourself, the easier it'll be to find your purpose. Then... Relearn everything you've ever been taught. Society often tells us what we should do, what we should believe, and what we should value. But in order to truly find your purpose, you need to relearn everything you've been taught. In his book Mastery, Robert Greene said it better than we ever could. At your birth, a seed is planted. That seed is your uniqueness. It wants to grow, transform itself, and flower to its full potential. It has a natural, assertive energy to it. Your life's task is to bring that seed to flower, to express your uniqueness through your work. You have a destiny to fulfill. The stronger you feel and maintain it as a force, a voice, or in whatever form, the greater your chance for fulfilling this life's task and achieving mastery. Green realized that far too often, the force that drives one to achieve their life's task is overwhelmed at a young age. The pressure to conform, the expectations of one's family, and the desire not to be viewed as different are what make a lot of people out there miserable. If you're in this situation, don't worry, okay? There are baby steps you can take in order to get familiar with who you truly are. First, you need to connect or reconnect with your inclinations, that sense of uniqueness. The first step is always inward. You search the past for signs of that inner voice or force. You clear away the other voices that might confuse you. Parents, your peers. You look for an underlying pattern, a core to your character that you must understand as deeply as possible. So be open to new ideas. Be curious and challenge your beliefs. Ask yourself, is this truly what I believe? Is this what I want for my life? Does this align with my values? The more you question, the more you'll learn about yourself and what you truly want from your life. And remember, when following your inner calling, the things you do will feel like play to you, but will look like work to others. Which leads us smoothly on to the next step. Connect or reconnect with your inclinations and passions. 
Your passions and inclinations are the clues you need to explore in order to find your purpose. Connecting or rekindling your passions and inclinations is like unlocking the key to discovering your purpose in life. By diving deep into what truly drives and inspires you, you can uncover the essence of who you are and what you're meant to do. It's a journey of self-discovery, one that will lead you to a path filled with happiness, fulfillment, and meaning. Pursuing your passions is like hitting the jackpot for your well-being. When you engage in activities you love, your brain lights up with feelings of joy and satisfaction, and you experience a greater sense of purpose and motivation. The result is a life full of positivity, inspiration, and drive. Philosophically speaking, your passions and inclinations are the roadmap to your purpose. By following them, you are aligning with the highest good, chasing your potential, and living life to the fullest. You become the master of your own destiny, living each day with purpose and meaning, and leaving a lasting impact on the world. Don't be afraid to take risks and step outside of your comfort zone. Robert Greene adds even more to this, writing, The key to a fulfilling life is to find work that speaks to your deepest inclinations, to your passions and values. So reconnect with your passions and inclinations and see where they lead you. Your purpose may be hiding in plain sight, but don't rely on that. Instead, make sure you also create a vision for your future. Once you've got a better understanding of who you are, what you value, and what your passions are, well, it's time to create a vision for your future. As motivational speaker and author Tony Robbins says, if you don't have a vision for your life, then you're living by default. So what do you want your life to look like in 5 years, 10 years, 20 years? Write it down, create a mind map, and get as specific as you can. Creating a vision for the future is like charting a course toward discovering your purpose in life. It's a powerful tool that can help you define your goals, clarify your values, and bring focus and direction to your journey. Even more, having a clear vision for the future allows you to live proactively rather than reactively. It gives you the power to shape your destiny to move toward a purpose-driven life, and to make meaningful progress toward your goals. With a vision for the future, you can elevate your existence from simply going through the motions to actively pursuing your purpose. A compelling vision for the future can be a source of motivation, inspiration, and direction. When you've got a clear picture of what you want to achieve and where you're headed, you're far more likely to stay focused and persistent in the face of challenges. Your vision becomes a beacon of light that guides you toward a life filled with meaning, purpose, and fulfillment. So waste no more time arguing the things in your head. Start writing your story down before anyone else writes it for you. And finally, find purpose in finding your purpose. Friedrich Nietzsche once famously said, He who has a why can live to bear almost any how. Whenever you feel lost and your purpose seems to be far away somewhere on an isolated mountain peak, remember, in some sense, there is purpose in trying to find purpose. Having that why to live can save you from giving up. It's a mindset and a test that you need to go through. Nothing meaningful in life is easy. It requires tremendous effort if it's going to last and shape you into a complete human being. You can choose a mediocre life and die as an old and bitter human being, or you can go out there and start looking for what feeds your soul. Enjoying the journey matters just as much as the joy you feel when you get to the finish line. It's all a part of a bigger process. And those of you who've read Man's Search for Meaning, a book that we often reference in our videos, you know the importance of this mental crutch. Viktor Frankl was able to survive the horrors of the Nazi concentration camps during World War II by finding purpose in staying alive. Frankl believed that finding a purpose or meaning in life can provide an individual with the inner strength to endure even the most difficult circumstances. 
The experience of being stripped of all material possessions, freedom, and even loved ones teaches one that the human spirit is capable of withstanding immense suffering when it's anchored to a higher purpose. He argued that people who find meaning in their lives are able to maintain their sense of self-worth and dignity even when everything else has been taken away from them. He even created a branch of psychology based on this philosophy called logotherapy. It's a meaning-centered approach to psychology that emphasizes the importance of finding meaning and purpose in life as a way to overcome existential challenges and psychological struggles. Logotherapy argues the search for meaning is the primary motivator of human behavior and that a lack of meaning can lead to feelings of emptiness, depression, and anxiety. The therapy seeks to help individuals discover their unique meaning and purpose in life and to use this newfound understanding to improve their mental well-being and overall quality of life. So if this sounds like something that could help you, consider reading Viktor Frankl's book and give Logotherapy a try. Sometimes all one needs is a hand to rescue them from the immense sea of suffering. Now, Aluxer, we hope this inspired you to reach your full potential and live a life you're proud of. And with that being said, it's time to wrap up this video, but not before we hear what you guys would add to this philosophy. Have you found your purpose? And if so, at what age and what helped you to find it? We're so curious to hear your life story. If this video served its purpose by adding value to your life, return the favor by tipping us with a like. And as always, thanks for watching and if you're in need of more inspiration, check out this video next.